Have you ever found yourself lost in the noise of the world, fixated on what others are doing, thinking, or achieving? It's time to turn the lens inward. In this video, we will explore a fundamental Buddhist teaching that encourages us to focus on ourselves, not others. This isn't about selfishness. It's about self-discovery. Buddhism teaches us that the path to enlightenment is through understanding our own minds. When we compare ourselves to others, we create suffering. We become envious, resentful, or prideful. But when we focus on our own actions, thoughts, and feelings, we gain insight and clarity. The Buddha said, Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. By focusing on ourselves, we can cultivate mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom. We learn to appreciate our journey without being distracted by the paths of others. So, let's embark on a journey of self-reflection. Let's commit to focusing on our own growth and well-being. Remember, the only person you should try to be better than is the person you were yesterday. For more insights and teachings, subscribe to Wisdom Quest and join us on the path to inner peace and self-mastery. 1. Self-Reflection Self-reflection is a cornerstone of Buddhist teachings, emphasizing the need to look within to understand the true nature of our existence. It's a practice that encourages us to examine our thoughts, feelings, and actions critically and compassionately. By doing so, we can gain insight into the patterns that shape our lives and begin to free ourselves from the cycles of desire and aversion that cause suffering. In Buddhism, the concept of anatta or non-self is central. It teaches that there is no unchanging, permanent self. This can be a challenging concept, but through self-reflection, we begin to see that what we consider self is just a collection of ever-changing experiences and mental states. Recognizing this impermanence helps us detach from the ego and reduces our preoccupation with how others perceive us. Moreover, self-reflection leads to self-awareness. As we become more aware of our inner workings, we can better control our reactions to external events. We learn to respond with intention rather than react out of habit. This heightened awareness also allows us to cultivate metta, or loving-kindness, first towards ourselves and then towards others. The Buddhist teachings on mindfulness are also deeply connected to self-reflection. By being mindful, we observe our present experiences without judgment. We become witnesses to our own minds, learning to recognize the arising and passing of thoughts and emotions. This practice fosters a deep sense of peace and equanimity. Ultimately, self-reflection in Buddhism is not a solitary activity, it's a path to interconnectedness. As we understand ourselves better, we naturally develop a deeper understanding of others. We see that just like us, everyone is seeking happiness and trying to avoid suffering. This realization can transform the way we interact with the world, leading to more harmonious relationships and a compassionate society. In essence, Self-reflection is about finding freedom within. It's about discovering that by focusing on our own transformation, we contribute to the greater good, embodying the wisdom of the Buddhist teachings in every aspect of our lives. 2. Understanding the mind Understanding the mind is a pivotal aspect of Buddhist teachings, which posits that true liberation comes from comprehending the nature of our own consciousness. The mind, in Buddhism, is not just a repository of thoughts and memories, it is the origin of our perception of reality. By delving into the workings of the mind, we can unravel the fabric of our experiences and the illusions that bind us. The Buddha taught that our suffering stems from ignorance and attachment. Ignorance of the true nature of things leads to attachment, and attachment leads to suffering. This cycle, known as samsara, is perpetuated by our unexamined thoughts and desires. To break free, we must observe the mind with clarity and insight, a process known as vipassana, or insight meditation. Through vipassana, we learn to see things as they truly are, impermanent, unsatisfactory, and non-self. This is the essence of the three marks of existence in Buddhism. As we meditate, we witness the constant flux of mental states, 
the arising and passing of sensations, emotions, and thoughts. This observation leads to dispassion and the weakening of our habitual reactions. The mind is likened to a wild monkey in Buddhist texts, jumping from one thought to another. Taming this monkey mind through mindfulness and concentration brings tranquility and equanimity. It allows us to respond to life's challenges with wisdom rather than being swept away by the torrents of desire and aversion. In essence, understanding the mind is about recognizing its transient nature and learning to live in harmony with this truth. It's about cultivating a state of inner peace that remains unshaken by the external world. By mastering our minds, we master our lives, moving ever closer to the ultimate goal of nirvana, the extinguishing of suffering and the attainment of ultimate freedom. 3. Mindfulness Mindfulness, in the context of Buddhism, is the practice of maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and the surrounding environment with an attitude of openness and non-judgment. It's about being fully present in the moment and observing what is happening within and around us without reaction or distraction. The Buddha taught mindfulness as part of the Noble Eightfold Path as a means to develop insight into the true nature of reality. It involves a conscious direction of our awareness. We are not just passively observing, but actively engaging with the process of perception. This is often cultivated through meditation, where one might focus on the breath, bodily sensations, or even the act of walking. Mindfulness allows us to see the impermanent nature of our experiences. When we observe our thoughts and emotions as they arise and pass away, we learn not to attach our identity to them. This understanding helps to dissolve the ego and reduces suffering, as we no longer cling to pleasant experiences or push away unpleasant ones. In practical terms, mindfulness can be applied to every aspect of life. It's not just for the cushion, it's for the chaos of daily living. Whether we're eating, speaking, working, or resting, mindfulness brings a quality of attentiveness and care to our actions. It transforms mundane tasks into opportunities for awakening. By cultivating mindfulness, we develop equanimity and compassion. We become more patient, understanding, and kind, both to ourselves and others. Mindfulness is not about withdrawing from the world, but engaging with it more fully, with a clear mind and an open heart. It's a powerful tool for self-transformation and a key to unlocking the wisdom and compassion that lie at the heart of Buddhist teachings. 4. Compassion and Wisdom Compassion and wisdom are two qualities that are deeply interwoven in Buddhist teachings. Compassion, or karuna, is the desire to alleviate suffering in all beings, while wisdom, or prajna, is the insight into the true nature of reality. Both are essential on the path to enlightenment and are cultivated through the practice of focusing on oneself. In Buddhism, compassion begins with understanding that all beings are trapped in the cycle of suffering known as samsara. By focusing on our own experiences and developing mindfulness, we start to see the interconnectedness of all life. This realization awakens a natural sense of empathy and a desire to help others find relief from their suffering. Wisdom in Buddhism is not just intellectual knowledge, it's a profound understanding that comes from direct experience. It's the realization of the Four Noble Truths, the truth of suffering, its cause, its end, and the path leading to its end. As we focus on our own minds and experiences, we gain insights into these truths, which in turn deepens our compassion. The cultivation of compassion and wisdom also involves the practice of the six paramitas, or perfections, which include generosity, ethical conduct, patience, effort, concentration, and wisdom. By focusing on self-improvement and embodying these qualities, we not only benefit ourselves but also become a source of strength and guidance for others. Ultimately, focusing on oneself in Buddhism is not a selfish act, it's a way to develop the qualities that allow us to be of the greatest service to others. As we grow in compassion and wisdom, we contribute to the creation of a more compassionate and understanding world. 5. Personal Growth Personal growth is a central theme in Buddhism, 
where the focus is on the individual's journey towards enlightenment. This journey is deeply personal and unique to each individual, reflecting their own experiences, challenges, and insights. Buddhism teaches that by focusing on our own development, we can make the most significant impact on ourselves and the world around us. The path to personal growth in Buddhism is often described through the Noble Eightfold Path, which outlines steps such as right understanding, right intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. Each step is an opportunity for self-improvement and self-discovery, guiding individuals towards ethical living, mental discipline, and wisdom. Focusing on personal growth also means recognizing and overcoming the three poisons, greed, hatred, and delusion. These are the root causes of suffering, and by working on ourselves, we can transform these negative states into their positive counterparts, generosity, loving-kindness, and wisdom. Moreover, personal growth involves embracing the concept of impermanence. Everything is subject to change, and by accepting this, we can let go of attachment and aversion, leading to greater peace and happiness. It's about learning to flow with the changes of life rather than resisting them. In essence, personal growth in Buddhism is about evolving towards a state of inner freedom and peace. It's about becoming the best version of ourselves, not through comparison with others, but through a deep and honest look within. As we grow, we naturally radiate positivity and become a beacon of light for others on their path. It's a journey that never truly ends, as there is always room for further development and deeper understanding. In conclusion, the essence of Buddhism is the profound journey of self-discovery and personal growth. It teaches us to turn our gaze inward, to understand the mind, and to cultivate mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom. By focusing on our own path, we learn to navigate life with equanimity and grace, embracing change and transcending suffering. This inward focus is not a withdrawal from the world, but a way to engage with it more meaningfully. As we transform ourselves, we become a source of positive change, influencing others through our example. The path is personal, but the destination is universal, inner peace and the cessation of suffering for all beings. Let us walk this path with diligence and joy, knowing that every step taken in awareness and kindness brings us closer to the enlightened way of being that Buddhism espouses. If you are seeking to deepen your understanding and enrich your life with Buddhist wisdom, subscribe to our channel, join us on this enlightening journey, and let's walk the path of inner peace together. Click the bell icon to stay updated.